One of the basic skills that we need to learn in algebra is how to graph an equation. Now for today, the method that we're going to use in graphing an equation is what we call as modeling. Now modeling is basically a method of graphing an equation by plotting points using the assigned values for x. So on our first example, we have y equal to 3x plus 1. And in this function, we will assign the values for our x. And the x values that I assigned here is negative 3, negative 2, 0, 2, and 3. Now once again, the x values are assigned and the y values that we need to look for will be found by using our equation y equal to 3x plus 1 and substituting the value of x to your equation. So let's start with our first assigned values so that we can find the first point that will help us visualize the equation or the graph of our equation. So when x is equal to negative 3, if you plug it into the value of your equation y is equal to 3x plus 1, y is 3 times negative 3 plus 1 which gives you negative 9 plus 1 so y is equal to negative eight. So our first point will be negative three and negative eight. And if x is equal to negative two, plugging in plugging it into our equation, y will be equal to negative 5. So our second point will be negative 2 and negative 5. And for our third point, given that it's 0, if you plug it into the value of x in our equation, 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1, which gives you a y value of 1. So our third point is 0 and 1. So our x value of 2 will give us a y of 7. And if x is equal to 3, y will equal to 10. So now that we have our five points, this is enough for us to be able to visualize and see the behavior of our equation. Since y is equal to 3x plus 1, we still don't know what the graph looks like, but with the help of our points, it's like creating or solving a puzzle. So if we plot the points of each of these points that we found from our equation, we'll be able to see the graph of our equation using the method of modeling. So the first point is at th negative 3 and negative 8. So x is negative 3 and negative 8. So you go down to negative 8 along the y-axis. So this is our first point. The second point is at negative 2 and negative 5. Third point is at 0 and then positive 1. Third, um, the next point is 2 and 7. So we have 1, 2 across and then 7 up. And you'll have 3 across, 1, 2, 3, and then 10. So these are the points that we are able to found using this method. And if you'll notice, it creates a line or a linear function by just looking at our dots. Now if you connect these points, you know that it's going to be a line. However, since I'm just using an xy plane that I made using a marker, this is not really accurate because if you'll notice it looks like there's a curve right here, but in reality this is a line. That's why when we are plotting points, it's always useful if we have a graph paper. So let's try to graph another function and this time I'm going to use my presentation so you'll have a more accurate feel on how to use your graphing paper when you're plotting points like y equal to 3x plus 1. Now for this equation, let's use the modeling method in graphing y equal to 3x minus 5 with the given values. So x is at negative 1 and if x is negative 1, plugging into the value of y will have y equal to 3 times negative 1 minus 5 which gives us negative 8. So our first point for this equation will be negative 1 and negative 7 and when x is 0, y is equal to negative 5. So our second point will be 0 and negative 4 by substituting the value of x to your equation. Now the third point when x is equal to 1, y is equal to negative 2. So the third point will be 1 and negative 1. And for our last assigned value of x, which is positive 2, when x is 2, y is 1. So that will be our last point, 2 and 2. Now using our xy plane or our Cartesian coordinate, by plotting the points, plotting negative 1 and negative 7 will be on our third quadrant so this is the plot or the point of negative 1 and negative 7 0 and negative 4 um, 1 and negative 1 is right here and positive 2 and positive 2 which will be on the first quadrant now this time 
our points shows a straight line. If, if we connect the dot, we know that y equal to 3x minus 5 will be represented by the graph of a function like this one. So it's a straight line using this method. And that is how we use the modeling technique or method in plotting points or finding the graph of our equation. Now let's have our second function. In our second function, let's have an absolute value equation. Now an absolute value equation, we know that absolute value always gives us a positive number. So whatever values of it or whatever number values you have inside the absolute value, it will turn into a positive. So in this function, we have f of x equal to absolute value of x plus 1. Now, f of x is basically just another way of saying y equal to absolute value of x plus 1. So it's just x and y, but we're just writing it differently. So in this particular equation or function, our x values are still assigned. We have negative 3, negative 1, 0, 1, and 3. Now, our task is to find the value of f of x or the y value so that we'll be able to plot our point. So if x is negative 3, f of x will be equal to 4, or y is equal to 4. So our first ordered pair will be negative 3 and, neg and positive 4. And if x is equal to negative 1, the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. Add them with 1, which gives you 2. So the second point will be negative 1 and positive 2. And when x is 0, y is 1 or f of x is equal to 1, so we have 0 and 1. And when x is 1, f of x, or the y value, is equal to 2. So we have 1 and 2 for our next point. And for the last point that we are looking for, if x is equal to 3, f of x will be equal to 4. Therefore, our last ordered pair will be 3 and 4. Now, you need to remember that the graph of an absolute value is like a V-shaped graph. So when we plot these points, let's start plotting it with negative 3 and 4 with our x, y plane. So negative 3 and positive 4 is on the second quadrant. Negative 1 and 2 is also on the second quadrant. 0 and 1 is on the first quadrant, but it, it lies along the y-axis. 1 and 2, and 3 and 4. Now, if you will notice, we have a V-shaped graph, and we know that the graph of an absolute value is shaped like a letter V. So when you connect the dots, the graph of f of x equal to the absolute value of x plus 1 is just the graph that you are seeing right now. Now if you're going to ask or if you're going to um, describe the domain and the range of the function, the domain of this function, just like what we did in our previous lesson, is all real numbers because you will notice if you move your pencil or your ruler from the leftmost side of the axis to the right hand side, you know that it's touching all the values of your x. So the domain here is all real numbers. However, for our range of values, the range will be starting from positive 1 going to the positive infinity. So the range of this value by symbol or in symbol form will be y such that y is greater than or the value of y is greater than or equal to 1. So this is how you write your domain and range given a function. So that is what the modeling or this particular method is used in plotting or graphing a given equation.